everybody. My name is Helena Fachenda, and I'm a celebrity hairstylist and guest artist for Avalon Hair Care Products. This is my gorgeous model, Danielle, and we are going to feature some genius haircutting tips using all the Care Care products. So hang out, stay tuned, be right back. First, her hair was conditioned with Care Care Humecto Conditioner to lock in the moisture and keep it lush. For your information, the blowout was perfectly delivered using Care Care Strengthening Thermal Protector. What I am ready to do next is apply Caracare Silk and Seal Liquid Sheen. The reason to apply this is because you make the hair slightly piecey, not greasy, not dry, just the perfect amount of extra moisture and sheen delivered into the hair. A light, just a light hint of a spray holding it about 10 inches from the head. You'll see a nice, soft, misty cloud of it because that's how fine it is. That's how sheer it is. It's not gonna weigh down your hair. It's just gonna give it that perfect amount. Look at that. Look at that glisten. Do you see that? Perfection. I'm gonna section her hair from above her ear straight back, leaving the whole bottom section of her head to work with at one time. I feel like you shouldn't be afraid to take large sections of hair when cutting because when you take little ones, honestly, how much can you really see of what you're doing in an overall picture, just so you know? And secondly, my rule of thumb is I only cut hair dry. Reason being whether their texture is curly or straight, I need to see what I'm doing and what my finished product's going to be. Starting in the center, back nape of the head, I'm gonna do three sections, right? Center, side, and side. Nothing has to be formal or perfect. I'm gonna take her to straight angle off her head. I really don't feel like Danielle needs to lose length because she has really healthy hair. And that conditioning product sealed her color perfectly. I'm gonna take her straight out. My technique personally is to point cut. That, my friends, is point cutting. Reason, all right, one thing I wanna stop so you all recognize, do you see the density, the amount of hair on Danielle's head? It's phenomenal. But look at how easily I'm combing through this on any angle. That would not happen, no way, no how. Without that Care Care Silk and Seal, forget it. It's genius. You have to go in at the end and look at the very finished line, meaning her length, okay? So here, I've got all her long layers in. I'm gonna comb her hair through. And I am going to look at her exact length. Even though she's on a chair, I can tell there are a few pieces that are definitely, definitely long enough. Do not cut them straight across. You've just destroyed the entire loose, sexy feeling tone of a point cut. You're not making it even. Do not make it even. Her temple to the bottom. It's a common mistake for hairdressers out there to lift this up and go for it. Don't lift it up, lift it out. Go straight out off her head. Look at the amount of hair I have to cut. Very, very little when you're up in this area of the face and the head. Without this length, her shag, her long, gorgeous, layered haircut is going to suddenly become too short. When you reach the front, you are always going to incorporate both essences of cutting, point cutting and sliding in this case, because it's a very small area that requires a great deal of attention. Watch. Perfect. This is her haircut before. It's like boom. 
that's going to turn into. The whole top section and finish of this haircut is going to happen now. I'm going to take the whole top of her head in one section and I'm going to do something that you are going to think I am insane. You're going to start and you are going to take the same piece of hair four times in four directions. And the first one, straight up, you're going to go back. Right. Take that same piece of hair. It's going to drop together. You won't lose it. And even if you do, remember that little trick about going in later and taking it small sections, right? Four ways, people. Four ways. Coming at me. And come at you. And every time you re-pick up this hair, there's going to be less of it if you're doing it correctly. Okay, now, section, little pieces again, the same way you did around the whole rest of her head, you have to do to the top. But when you do it to the top, you must do it in small sections and make sure that you're last layer facing back is not longer than the one below it and that is look I can see her layer see her layer so you don't want to have short layers right go in little by little tweak 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 see lay it be gone and her hair jumps. But her length and thickness is still available to her. Why all four ways? Think about it logically. You have to connect to every single part of her head. But you don't want to eliminate the light and sexiness or the length in its entirety. Danielle does not want a short layered haircut. I always start absolutely no higher than the bottom of my client's nose. In Danielle's case, I'm not even going that high. I usually pick here or here or here at the shortest. In Danielle's case, I'm going the longest, which is right under the curve of her mouth. Now, I took the initial block off it in a slide cut way. The key is to take the outer layer, meaning the top layer, the outer layer, and pinch up a piece and tweak it. Because again, you do not want to lose the overall thickness of the shag. And you can very, very easily if you're not going in the right direction here. Also. I'm going to incorporate the second part of how I cut hair throughout this entire haircut for you, which is point cutting and with the slide, right? Point cut me. One. Little itty bitty ones, mind you. It's not about a big chunky when it's around the face. I like to take a little half moon near her sideburn. Take this out and slide it 